Mastering the Art of French Cooking, Volume 1. Into the pages we go, looking for a recipe, found it. Oh! <laughs> bon appétit! Today I'm going to be making gnocchi, which is uh, this pillowy dumpling made with potatoes. I always thought it was only Italian, but I just found out about five seconds ago that there is a French way of making gnocchi, and that is with potatoes and pâte à choux, which is choux pastry. And you kind of put them both together to make a very Parisian gnocchi. Choux pastry, uh, you may know from such things as uh, chocolate eclairs, for example. Gnocchi is relatively simple to make, and it is a very useful addition to one's cooking repertoire. That's all I need to know. Shall we get started? Instantly, I know I need to just, I'm gonna cut this recipe in half. I always make too much. So two baking potatoes. These are Yukon Gold, and I just take the peeler out of my apron pocket, start peeling. Quarter them. All right, in my big old pot, I'm gonna boil up some very well salted water. Boil the potatoes until tender. So after 18 minutes, the potatoes have softened to my liking. Drain them and put them through a mincer. I don't have a mincer. Never stopped me in the past. I mean, I'm sure I could just do this with a fork if I wanted to, but I have uh, a masher. Same saucepan, sans water, potatoes. And just turn the heat on. And what do I gotta do? You stir this over moderate heat for a minute or two until they film the bottom of the pan. It's gonna like dry them out. Off the heat. I need to focus on the pat à choux, the choux pastry. And I've mise en place everything, which is great. So now I need my saucepan. Turn the heat on. Quarter pint, 118 milliliters of water. I'm using 42.25 grams, uh, which is one and a half ounces of butter. Remember, I'm halving this recipe, so I gotta use my math. Half of one eighth teaspoon, one, one sixteenth teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, pinch of nutmeg of all things. And then boil that until the butter is melted. So take it off the heat really quick and add the sifted flour. Remove the flour, pour in all the flour at once. With a wooden spoon, Beat for several seconds and blend it thoroughly. And how much flour was that for? Uh, it was two ounces of flour, which is, what's two ounces in grams? I'm gonna keep mixing this over moderate high heat until the mixture leaves the sides of the pans and you can spoon it up as one big mass. Bring this over here. I need the cookbook as well. Okay, so I need to form a well with my dough. Immediately break an egg into the center of the well. Beat it into the pastry for several seconds. And then do it with the other egg. Into the center of the well, quick, 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 quick. You gotta move fast because the eggs start cooking as soon as you add them into the... A little, little, couple little pieces of cooked egg in there, but I remove them all. And that is choux pastry, pat a choux. Okay, big bowl, please. So the dried out mashed potatoes, three ounces of warm choux pastry. What's three ounces in grams? Three ounces is 85.05 grams. So Swiss cheese, the one with the holes in it. And I'm gonna grate in three quarters of an ounce. Beat this all into the potatoes. Little pepper, crank of salt, mix that all in. You take the mixture by the dessert spoon and roll it with the palms of your hands. Form a cylinder, two and a half inches long. Well, these are gonna be big gnocchi and an inch in diameter. So that's it, right there. Forgive my ignorance, but if I just roll it out into a rope, That is by far the longest looking gnocchi I've ever seen. I gotta make sure that's correct. <laughs> Two and a half inches long, an inch in diameter. That's exactly what she says. Water should remain almost but not quite at simmering point throughout the cook. If it's boiling, the gnocchi may disintegrate. Let's add these bad boys. Bombs away. 
simmer these for 15 to 20 minutes. They gotta swell up and like double in size. No. So I had to turn the water down because it was simmering and it was destroying some of the gnocchi, some casualties, and I'm just like crossing my fingers that the ones that are still intact stay that way. Just get like some sort of freaking board here. Like a baking rack? Sure. Okay, these need to come out of the water and I'm freaking terrified. Honestly, this does not look good. Like what the f happened here? It was a terrible idea to put these on this rack. So I wouldn't be able to tell you where the hell I went wrong, but that's not right. Looks like no gnocchi I've ever seen. Look at this crap. Like that, when I taste this, it tastes like mashed potatoes. And that's it. I don't like being unsuccessful. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board, figure out what the hell went wrong. Um, check, 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 check. Okay, I'm not gonna half the recipe this time. I am going to just follow along to exactly what it says in the book. At this point, I just wanna get it right. If I make too much, then I'll be enjoying gnocchi all week. It's not a big deal. I'm using three to four baking potatoes. Half a pint of water, three ounces of butter cut into pieces, and then I'm gonna boil this shit. So I'm gonna add salt, a little pepper, and a pinch of nutmeg. Okay, once the butter's melted, I'm gonna add in four ounces of sifted flour. Turn off the heat and beat vigorously until it leaves the sides of the bowl, and when you lift it up with a wooden spoon, it kind of like forms into a mass. Form the dough into a well, and turn your page. Break an egg into the well, and beat it in like a son of a bitch. Be careful not to cook the egg, Jamie. I'm gonna add four eggs this time. Beat it vigorously. That looks really nice. Take it off the heat. Potatoes have softened. Okay. Mash them. I need to go on to the heat for a second to dry the shit out of them. So I'm supposed to use 12 ounces of potatoes. I didn't measure the weight of the potatoes last time I did this, so that could have been an issue. To explain why the gnocchi was so potato-y, it could be because I didn't properly measure out how much potatoes I was adding in with the shoe pastry the first time. The first time I did this, I was supposed to use only half of this, which I totally used probably well, a lot more than that. But now I'm using the full recipe, which is supposed to be 12 ounces, which is this, even though the recipe says use a three to four potatoes, which is both of these. So you see, see what I'm dealing with? 12 ounces of potato with one and a half ounces of grated Swiss cheese and six ounces of the choux pastry. So then beat that in with the floured surface. So it needs to be an inch in diameter and two and a half inches long, although the Two and a half inches long looks kind of funny, so I do a bit under that, like more like two inches or something. They're gonna expand in the water, allegedly. So this water can't be boiling and it needs to be almost, but not quite a simmer. That's important, as I have found out. And here we go. Fifteen, twenty minutes. Got to roll around easily in the water, and then onto a cloth. Let them drain for a minute or two. I lightly butter this dish, kind of random. And then I need my gnocchi and some grated Swiss cheese on top, as well as like little dots of butter. I'm just dotting it. Ten minutes before serving, brown this under a moderately hot grill. It's in a serving dish. God damn it. I'm just gonna put this under the broiler for like a minute, just to brown it a bit. Uh, hopefully this is okay. You might hear it in the comments for that one. Maybe a little salt, maybe a little pepper. I mean, this is the, this is the strangest dish. 
What a strange recipe. Honestly, it's just, it's just potato. It's like, it's, I don't know. Like, am I missing something here? It's not gnocchi. If you get a bite with the cheese on top, okay, it tastes like a cheesy potato. Like I've done this twice now, so is it just me? Am I reading it correctly? <laughs> Am I missing something? I can't say I recommend that one because, uh, I mean, it just tastes like mashed potatoes. Well, mashed potatoes without all that butter. So like a, a dry amount, it's just like dry poached mashed potato cylinders rather than potato gnocchi. Hey, if that's your thing, then go for it. I think you can find a better gnocchi recipe, honestly. This is Jamie and Julia, bon appetit. Au revoir.